the bike. Turn the camera off. Blue and silver make them quiver. Got a weed guard on it. Had to go to a heavier head earlier. Back okay now. I'm gonna do me a head count here in a minute. Bag getting a little bit ridiculous. Got a little limit though. Boat traffic. Is, that's the only thing that's you don't have any waves and wind, you're gonna have some boat traffic with waves. Coffee's still warm and I finally got on fish. Thank you, Father. Figured the lake out on my own, y'all. Came out here and put in the work. This is day three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, buddy. Coffee's still hot or warm. Lukewarm, lumpy Muju, 16 foot out. Yeah, they responding to that little pitch. Maybe I'll get one like that. Knock the stew out of it. That's working. I'm pitching it out, letting it fall over. Ain't working great. I got hit. Might have been a small fish, didn't want us want to chase stuff. Ain't nowhere near the pile, that's one reason why. Pitch it over there. Smacking at it, but they ain't getting it. Let me go ahead and fish, stop playing. Down up in there. thing. Got to get up in there. I get hit right here. Look at that, man. Look at that. Them fish ain't spawning yet. I'm finna do it. I told y'all I'm finna do it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a slab right there, man. Hold on. I'm going to do it. I told you. Let me clean the camera. Hey, man. Thank you. Hard work, persistence, all that stuff pays off. Man. Okay. Hard work, persistence, all that stuff pays off, man. I'm going to show you something. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a San Rayburn slab, man. Look at the gut. Look at the gut. Big female out here on brush piles, baby. Out here on brush piles, just like that. 
bag looking ridiculous. Cooler looking ridiculous. Let me clip a gear. Hold on, let me get a little picture there. Get a little picture there, man. Let me take time and show you guys my get up. And this here is what I use. A real small, I mean super small, tiny swivel. I grab that swivel right there at the swivel on that knot so I don't compromise my line. My line comes out of there freely. And then I give myself about on there because these stumps are so deep and so big. I got about 12 inches, maybe a foot and a half between the jig and the and the uh, little split shot in the and the swivel and uh, I'm fishing eight one brush pile way over here saved at Sam 14 I don't know how in the world thank God I got it alright y'all <laughs> alright thank you <laughs> Hope there ain't no small one. Yep. Lordy, Miss Claudia, man. Sam Rayburn got big crappie. Oh, Lord. Sam Rayburn got a little crappie, too. Come on, man. Come on, man. I didn't come all the way out here for that. I might have to get a heavier split shot. Deeper water. See some bigger fish down deep. Oh. Well, I've got a keeper. I'm going to work this area here. Rough and go. They hitting that same silver. I said they love blue, but they hitting the silver with that chartreuse in the tail. Guys, it's gonna be a rough fish. A little bit of wind out here on the open lake. Hooked up fishing, man. Hard hitter out here on San Rayburn, trying to find my own way. I'm pretty sure I'm not in a prime area because. Nobody's here but me. It's supposed to be an underwater bridge. I caught one so far that was a throwback. And now I've got one keeper. So I'll do the same thing. Bleed my fish out. Try to work with the wind. Hopefully he'll be my friend to the end. Hook the fishing man. Rough in the gulf for the old hard hitter. Coming all the way out here to San Rayburn. I'm kind of going on my own. I'll stay here and fish this way today. Let's see, can I muster out some fishing? There's one more brush pile near me. I came out of the launch over there. There's a cove that goes back up in there. I didn't see anything marked on my unit. I marked that's supposed to be an underwater bridge. I don't know what it is, but either way, I'm gonna fish it. I kind of see the general area where the fish are holding. So now I can kind of position myself and don't worry about trying to fish other areas. Just get right there. Sorry about all that squeaking, man. I need to oil my, my deal. When I get back, I'll put some coconut oil on it. Environmentally safe. Fish will come up off of the structure, but maybe I'll drop down on those. Down up under the limb. Oh, up under the limb. Well, boy, boy. Usually when the fish are up under the limb, they're hogs. But Throwbacks. 
Hold on, Ray. There you go. You must have been catching them. Yeah, they they got. Uh, I, I'm hitting them, but they got small fish on these piles. That lady says a bunch of juvenile. The lady on the pontoon boat. Yeah, that's on this supposed to be a sunken bridge. That looked like a tree to me. I can't send no more pictures. No signal. Go back up here to the tree. Yeah, every time I get the drop on the tree, the wind blow me out. I'm at I'm at the mouth of the launch. That's what this thing is, right out of the launch. Yeah. It's sunken tree. I'm steady catching. I'm catching them back to back, and they all on the side. Dang. They eating up that silver though. Eating it up. Yeah. I mean, ton of small fish on this thing. You wouldn't think this lay down. Big as them catfish I seen swimming off of it would be like that. Yeah, you get them big contracts. This fish swimming with my jig. I already had it. I'm trying to find my jig. Come on, man. Y'all got to stop. He ain't big enough to let me know he there. Looked like a big catfish was chasing him because now the catfish swimming. Oh, Lord. That's some big marks down under there, though, just driving me crazy because I see them under the limb, but when I get down there, Little ones get to it first. It water's clear over here. You think that water, uh, you think that, uh, there you go. Uh -oh. oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I see what I get. They right in this in this limb. I'm gonna drop another buoy right here. Be the third buoy. This will let me know what to do. They're going to come by here and say, what that dude got marked over there? Don't worry about it. Just mind your business. Mind your business, y'all. Okay. I see a little area where it got a little group of them. I'm going to try to work. About eight or ten of them was in there. Was that a keeper you just caught? Yeah, yeah. Good seven. Okay. That's why I dropped this buoy right here, this last buoy. Bleed them out and keep it, keep it going. I may get this lady some fish, finally. That's number two in the bag. That's a start. That next pile, that next next pile might be five, or it, this might be like that other spot I was there yesterday when I came back. There was a ton of fish on it, but there was black bass. This time it might be crappie. It's a little pocket of them. Right in a little notch of a tree. Like that little cone, that one I hit when I said that's how you target a fish. That's where these fish are, right in a little cone. Oh, you don't see any suspended fish uh, uh, over there? Uh-uh, nuh-uh. They all, they all down up under the thing holding. Big old bait ball going over. Wind stopping. Stop just for a minute. Let me take care of my business right here. Popped it when it when I did put it in there and that V he popped it. So that ain't gonna be a problem getting him to hit. And, uh, and that one that just hit, uh, he, whenever you put it in front of that tank, he popped it up. Yeah, when I dropped it in there in that little pocket where it was about three or four of them, he ain't waste no time. He knocked the stew out of them. Get it on him over here. They hit it. Well, you said that hook, I know you felt the weight on him, huh? 
Oh yeah, it was a good, it was a decent fish, you know. It wasn't no monster, but yeah, he, he's a little thin. Why this wind and kind of settle? Now I might be able to fish this thing. Just as fast as I found that little butt. Well, yeah, the hell are you busy, buddy? I'll, okay. I That's a better fish. Uh, gotta work hard to get them, but I'll take these eaters right now. Let's drop that buoy over there, and this is a more productive little part of them. Just getting some good solid keepers. I just gotta, that's what the lady said. I could stay there as long as I want, just leave her some fish in the freezer. And don't worry about it. I come stay as long as I want, fish as long as I want. And then my wife may come live there once we get our... <laughs> yeah, boy, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to y'all and tell y'all I don't want no hog because I got to be able to say, you know why you can't see me. But for right now, it's eaters on this... Uh, a little submerged deal here. One of these gonna be a good fish. Hey, down wind. Well, I said one of them was gonna be a good fish. black bass sit up here and caught a large mouth this is what y'all fishing for out here ditch pickles <laughs> y'all black bass guys y'all y'all fishing for these ditch pickles <laughs> Lordy, Miss Claudy, man. It's a hard hit ahead of times, man. I ain't even took no pictures this morning. Y'all want a picture of me with a ditch pickle? Here we go. How about a ditch pickle picture? I won't keep no more. I just want that one for my dog. Dang, man. Why you couldn't be a good crappie? See if there's some on this part of the tree. One came up and didn't touch it. Wow. Seriously? Could have saved that, buddy. There's the pollen you was talking about, Reggie, but it ain't bad like other places. Oh, I see what he did. Knocked my weight off. That's all he was good for. I kept wondering why I couldn't see him. I couldn't get done. Here we go. Shut off. Talked about that blue. I'm gonna try to silver with a little blue in the tail with a weed guard on it. And the hard hit a hand tie. 
been running my unit for three days and I still got 13 volts. I ain't charged the battery yet. Three days I've been running this unit and I haven't had to charge the battery yet. So just get you a hundred amp hour and your troubles are over. Jerry got a 50 and he's okay with it, but take a trip like this. It's beautiful to just leave the kayak on the truck and jump up and go fish every morning and not have to take the battery out, put it on the charger. Wonder did I get enough charge? This tie loop knot is important for jig action. Your jig jumps and wiggles and moves a whole lot more when you tie a loop knot. And it sits level. See that bait sit sit there and sit level. The camera angles right. But that's the hard hit of hand tie I'm about to put on these fish over here. How much battery I got? Getting low. I'll swap it out now and charge another one. I take time and show you guys my get up and this here is what I use, a real small, I mean super small, tiny swivel. I grab that swivel right there at the swivel on that knot so I don't compromise my line. My line comes out of there freely. And then I give myself about on there because these stumps are so deep and so big. I got about 12 inches, maybe a foot and a half between the jig and the and the uh, little split shot in the in the swivel, and uh, I'm fishing 18 foot of water over here on a laydown. It's a pretty big laydown, and I'm having to work hard to get keepers. So there's another brush pile in this area somewhere. I'm gonna go get on it in a minute. So I get turned around and get back on my buoys. It's late. They run wide open out here on these big bass boats. So, you want to watch what you're doing out here. Because they're, they're just, you know, they ain't looking at nothing but what they're doing. So, you want to really watch yourself and be careful out here on San Raven. I don't really advertise, uh, you know, going out on the open lake on a kayak like a lake like this where they got nothing but bass boats and they're super busy just this small finger here it's bigger than lake houston this thing is huge that's why i'm having so much trouble out here as far as finding i gotta drive an hour or so to change spots almost just to change spots locations so it's challenging very challenging in a kayak and especially with no no brush pile saved, I'm just going out here on my own. And uh, thank God it was one brush pile on this unit marked already. But that's my get up there, guys. About a foot and a half under the split shot. And I'm going kind of heavy right now, like a one eight, because on the split shot because of how deep I'm fishing and I need to drop straight down and get on the fish before the wind blows me out of the spot. But uh, I'm going to keep, keep plucking at them and I'll get back with you guys when I get on them good on the next drop. Hooked up fishing at Hard Hitter San Rayburn, y'all. Fish keep coming up here messing with my jig. Might be a big old black bass. Try to find some fish in there. Like something in there may be a decent fish. But it's acting like a catfish. Keep going back down. About to see. Well, it'll be a big old four pound crappie. I got hung up last time, but be careful. Hmm. Yeah, buddy. 
She like that blue and silver too. A little short though. Still, thank you for the hit. Come up there and smack it. with some big fish on it, I'll be in business. Silver and blue, y'all. Silver and blue. San Ray Burn, get you some silver and blue. I was going to try to find that other pile, but look. She wow, wow, man. Thought the wind was supposed to be a little bit better than this today. It is kicking. I'm going to get up over the top of them. That way, when I drop, I'm already there. All over the place. It's hard to fish this rock for the day. Almost there. Stop, wind. Just stop for a minute. Stop just for a minute. I see him. Dang, man. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. Oh, ought to have better boat control than this. All right, six foot up right in front of me. Come on now. Right there. Get in. Get off and get off. Dang. Once I get broadside, it's over. Come on, hit it for the wind, get me. Ah, Lee, man. Well, for those, I mean, I see why they left. It's almost impossible now. Working hard, working hard. But that's why they call me the hard hitter, y'all. Cause I don't care. I'm gonna get them by any means necessary. If I can get on them, I'm just gonna wait and drop right when I get on them instead of fight. Best fish of the day right there. Nice little 13 -er. It's hard fought. Kayak just all over the place. Wind just try to keep my nose to the wind. That ain't working. It's a daunting task today. But like I said, give it to the hard hitter. He down for it. Rough in the Gulf, that's me. One day it'll change. Things will get better. Seat cushion don't want to stay in place. Not wind won't let me stay on the brush. Won't let me stay on the fish. I'm still boxing them though. Six, seven, or so. However many I've got. Straight up work. Straight up work. Seriously, I can't even get back over to the buoy. I must run and drop the fish in the water. Trying to get situated. Just blow me on off the lake. Just do that. Just blow me off the lake. Don't let me fish. Just blow me off the lake. Start putting scissors on my, on my vest. I can't look for them every time. Just blow me off the lake, wind. I don't want to be here. Just blow me off the lake. That's what you want to do. Blow me off the lake. Still ain't gonna quit. Found this little old sunken tree. For the hard hitter skidded D. Everybody know me. I'm 
about to throw this cushion to the curve because it's making my hip hurt. I bought me a nice cushion, but I'm going to have to make it permanent on the seat. Feel great. Alright, I spotted some under a limb. One of them was a good one. Went to a 116th. They're down under that limb now. I get blowed back every time I get on them. But I'm going in, y'all. I'm about to board this one and go to the next brush pile. I got about seven keepers off of this thing. 100 throwbacks. There's some good fish up there at 14. Now if I could just get up there and drop on those fish right there in that pocket, I'll be in business. But every time I try, I get blowed off the pile. Camera tripping. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a St. Rayburn slab. Man. If I'm on the pile, I stayed, should have been on this pile. I stayed over there all morning at Silver. Clip a gill, get back in there. Boy, boy, boy. Maybe I'll come straight back to this in the morning. Got some good fish on. The best fish of the day. Right there. Get back over there. I got it marked on my unit. Thank God. And it produced. Is there anything else out here in this area? You got to drop all the way up in there. I got a weed guard, so I ain't worried. It's three piles. I think this thing. Yep. Oh, it's running. Oh, low battery. Yeah, buddy. I want you to they deep up in that brush. God dog. And I hope the camera's still running. Camera's still running. Yeah. Yeah. They deep up in the brush. Third pile holding them. Gotta drop deep up in there. But when you do, that's a brush, y'all. I just got brush after brush after brush. It's about five or six piles over here in one area. And I'm getting like over there is one. There's there's look at all these brush piles, man. <laughs> Woo Lordy Miss Claudy. And you gotta drop deep up in there. And then they'll give you the business. You can't swim it up over it. You got to get up in there. And I got them weed guards. It's game over for these fish. I'm going to drop that jig deep up in there and get smacked every time. And that's what they want. Can't hardly see them, the brush so thick. You can barely see them fluttering in there. You got to get up in there. It will not hit you if you don't get up in there.
Well, y'all, I found a nice little brush pile area. I may be able to come back and revisit in the morning. I want to get up early and be the first one over here. It's open 24 hours. Church of Christ church member told me about this place. And I came over here and I'm getting my quota. I'm lift the jig up over the top of the pile and wait till I get over some fish and then lower the jig down. The boat came by and scanned this. Saw me, I guess, fishing it, which I don't care. All this stuff is enough fish out here for everybody. You scoot up a little bit, get to a better pile. I'm not getting on the fish like I want right there. Go up a little ways. You gotta drop it down in this pile, in these piles. These fish are not really hitting it when it's when you bring it up over the top of it. They want it down in the pile. They're deep in the piles. Like that. Got off. But they are deep in the piles. Find the jig now. So much boat traffic now. I can't hardly even fish. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let's start counting in a minute. Took a while for me to hone in on them, but I done honed in on them now, y'all. Clipping the gills. We're going to eat good tonight. Hard hit a birthday tomorrow. Turn the camera off. Blue and silver make them quiver. Got a weed guard on it. Had to go to a heavier head earlier. Back okay now. I'm gonna do me a head count here in a minute. Bag getting a little bit ridiculous. Boat traffic is, that's the only thing that's, you don't have any waves and wind, you're going to have some boat traffic with waves. Coffee's still warm and I finally got on fish. Thank you, Father. Figured the lake out on my own, y'all. Came out here and put in the work. This is day three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, buddy. Coffee's still hot or warm. Lukewarm, lumpy muju, 16 foot out. Are they responding to that little pitch? Maybe I'll get one like this. Mm. 
Oh, he knocked the stew out of it. That's working. I'm pitching it out, I'm letting it fall over. Ain't working great. I got hit. Might have been a small fish. Didn't want us want to chase stuff. Ain't nowhere near the pile. That's one. Pitch it over there. <laughs> Smacking at it, but they ain't getting it. Let me go ahead and fish, stop playing. Down up in there. That's the only thing. Got to get up in there. I get hit right here. Look at that, man. Look at that. Them fish ain't spawning yet. Hold on, I'm gonna do it. I told you. Let me clean the camera. Hey, man. Thank you. Hard work, persistence, all that stuff pays off. Man. Okay. Hard work, persistence, all that stuff pays off, man. I'm gonna show you something. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a San Rayburn slab, man. Look at the gut. Look at the gut. Big female out here on brush piles, baby. Out here on brush piles, just like that. Bag looking ridiculous. Cooler looking ridiculous. Let me clip a gill. Hold on, let me get a little picture there. Get a little picture there, man. That's a picture fish. I mean, I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> Let me show y'all something. I'm, okay, I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all something right here. You know why you can't see me? Cause that's a San Rayburn slab. <laughs> Look at that gut. Look at this fish, man. Look at this, man. I got my scale, but that ain't nothing to weigh right there. Snatch my rod out of the boat. I'm about to go ahead and do a head count. That's five. Eight. 
14, 15. So I got 15. Need 10 more. Go get them. Come back with them. What a bull mark. Get 10 more fish, y'all. a bunch of black bass. Oh, that's funny. A little herd of black bass out here trying to run stuff. You ain't big enough. Get on, sea fly. Just hang a hard left and come straight towards that buoy and it's like two or three of them in a line going out that way. But you ain't gonna see no fish because they buried up in there. I had to get a brush hog, you know, weed, weed guard and go up in there to get them. Houston? I fish Conroe and Lake Houston all the time, you know. Oh, guys. In closing, I left Wes over there on the brush I found. Showed that guy the brush. 16. Really nice crappie. Uh, I came out and found a brush pile out here on a point and got on them a little bit, guys. So, all in all, coffee's still lukewarm, man. Thanks for watching. Likes, subscriptions, and comments. Five o'clock. Time to get out of here. They dropped the lake level seven foot. So that's not good. Not for crappie fishing. So these fish probably don't know what to do. But at any rate, man, I appreciate you guys rolling with me. I'm going to try to come out tomorrow and get on them real good early if I can. Silver and blue is what I kill those fish on with a weed guard. It's all wet. It ain't going to show that color real good but I've heard the blue was fire so tomorrow I'm gonna go home re-rig set up all all of my rods with different color jigs on there I'll be better prepared tomorrow I'm gonna try that blue and chartreuse and then um, this is just a small finger and this finger is bigger than Lake Houston and I was having trouble because I was driving everywhere an hour, 40 minutes, 30 minutes to get to the next fishing spot to try it only to get there and the boat launch was here and the structure or whatever was miles away. So it was just impossible to fish. This is still about a mile or, or a mile and a half paddle to go from the boat launch to get out here to this brush pile. And it's the only one in the area except uh, a tree that I was fishing earlier. But uh, either way, thanks for watching the guys again. Like, subscriptions, comment. 16 jelly beans. Some real nice raven crappie, man. Get back with you guys on the next episode, man. Later.